Hi, I'm Christina Warren from Mashable.com, and today I'm going to walk you through the process of taking a blog on WordPress.com and converting it into a blog on WordPress.org. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to just take a look at our WordPress.com blog. I've set up just a basic blog. I have some posts that have some um, polls embedded, some photographs, I've embedded some tweets using a new WordPress.com feature for tweets. I have some videos, I have some categories and comments, and then in my sidebar I have some Flickr photographs and I have a tweet stream. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go to our main WordPress.com dashboard. And we're going to go from go to tools and export. Now you'll get a list of different settings for your exporting for, for the files that you can export. By default, it'll export everything, all of your entries. Um, however, if you wanted to customize this so that you only had certain dates or certain authors exported, you could do that too. I'm going to go ahead and download this export file. Now what we're going to do is I've gone ahead and I've set up a blank WordPress.org installation on my own server. Depending on who your host is, um, this process might be should be pretty easy. Um, we're going to assume that you already have this set up. So I've, I've logged into my WordPress.org account, and I'm just going to go into my dashboard. OK, so once you're in the dashboard, as you can see, it looks very similar to the dashboard on WordPress.com. Where you're going to go is you're going to go to Tools, and this time we're going to go to Import. And we're going to select WordPress. Now, if this is the first time that you've ever installed a WordPress or it's a brand new account, you might not have this extension installed. So we'll go ahead and we'll hit install now and it'll install this plugin. And now we'll choose activate and run the importer. And now it's going to say, okay, choose the file on your computer. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to choose this XML file that we've downloaded. And we're going to choose upload and import. Now, it'll, it'll come in automatically and it says, okay, well, this is your username. Now, I can create a new user um, that will have all my Film Girl 82 stuff, or since I'm the only person writing my blog, I can just map it to an existing user, meaning it'll come up under my existing username. Right here where it says import attachments, download and import file attachments, this means that any of the photos or videos that you've embedded and, and used on WordPress.com, you can go ahead and, and have them downloaded and uploaded onto WordPress.org. Now, my WordPress.com account has a number of videos uploaded, so it's going to take some time for this to upload. So we're just going to take a little bit of a break, and we'll come back when this is finished. Okay, so once the entire file has been imported, you'll get a message like this. And go to have fun. And now, as you can see, all of our entries have been embedded and imported into our blog. However, as you'll notice, um, the polls and the videos and the tweets are not showing up. Um, you see the text, but you don't actually see the images or the embeds themselves. This is because WordPress.com has a number of built-in plugins that add these features. So what we need to do on our WordPress.org blog is we need to add these plugins. The great thing about Automatic is that they've made many of these plugins available. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to go to plugins and what's actually the easiest thing to do is we want to go to add new and it's actually easiest if we just go ahead and do a search by author for automatic. And we'll see here that we have a number of various plugins. For instance, here's the video press plugin. We can install this. And we can install our Twitter widget plugin. And I know that we want one from Pull Daddy. And we're also going to want, there's a Flickr RSS widget that we'll want. it for Twitter embeds.
And here you go. You can see all the all of our data is now incorrectly exactly as it looks on WordPress.com. Now the next thing that we're going to want to do is we want to actually this theme is okay, but if we want to keep the same theme that we have before, um, you can do that as well. Again, because Automatic does have so much of their stuff available to WordPress.org users, we can see that this theme is called Nutra. And so if we go to our WordPress admin again, we can go to Appearance and Install Themes, and we're going to search for Nutra. And here's the Nutra theme right here. We'll click on install and activate it. And now we can view our theme. And look at this. It's very, very similar to our WordPress.com setup. Now you'll notice that there are two about pages and we have this hello word page here. That's because the default WordPress installation includes some of these files. So you'll, you'll want to delete any duplicate entries that you have. The next thing that we're going to want to do is we're just going to want to configure our widgets a little bit. And to do that, you just go to your dashboard and you click on appearances, you click on widgets, and then we can just add widgets in the sidebar. So for instance, I can add in that we have, um, categories. We have tweets here, categories, Flickr photos. So I can just add in and we'll add in our Flickr. Okay, so after we configure our widgets, as you can see, the two blogs look really similar. There are a couple of minor layout differences because I think there's some differences in how the CSS works, but for the most part, we've got the same layout. We have our, our polls embedded, we have our photos embedded, we have our tweets, our video files, our photographs, everything in our sidebar is the same. And it took us about, uh, it took us under 10 minutes to be able to basically take our blog from wordpress.com and bring it over to wordpress.org. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments and we'll do our best to help.